Welcome to Salem Missionary Baptist Church, Wednesday Recapitulation. Our church is located at 3010 West 48th Street, Los Angeles, California, 943. Our services began at 10.30 a.m. East Sunday morning. We can be reached at www.salemla.com. Dialogue. I am grateful to be able to share with you from Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That God the Father, through God the Son, through God the Holy Spirit. I would suggest that all of us, as we pray as believers, that we follow this, this outline of such humble themselves uh, to humble myself, that this lack of pride, that I'm willing to take the low place and believe in my heart that God will raise me up. Uh, the Bible says that I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm blessed going in and I'm blessed coming out. And that is directed to the source of God our Father through Jesus his Son, his precious Holy Spirit, that I'm able, that you are able to humble ourselves, to be yielded to God. The pride is the granddaddy of all sin. But in setting aside pride, we must pray prayer to petition God for our needs and our desires and, and our wants for things to go a certain way. But prayer simply aligns us or should align us with the will of God. It does not change God's mind, does not change God's way, does not change his will because God knows our yesterdays and he's fully aware of our todays and he knows our tomorrows and because he lives we can face our tomorrows so we pray to be in his will but we'd be honest and seeking God's face through prayer through yielding one's self to getting an audience with God saying Father God what what would you have me to do? What uh, does my next second minute or hour look like? How would you like me to serve? Lord, I'm, that's what I'm looking for. This is attempting to find. Lord, is your direction in my, my spiritual heart so that I might be led by you, moved by you, and impact the lives of other people. The scripture says, and turn from their wicked ways. Repentance is not just a verbal, forgive me. Repentance is saying that I'm willing to turn from my wicked ways, turn from that which does not please God, back to him. There's action involved, turning, changing. Uh, the scripture says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind. Rebuking Satan. For I'm, I, I can win. The book says we're going to win. When we come to the end of the book, we win. So it's turn from wicked, wicked ways, or, or evil, or morally wrong. Turn from that. He says, then will I hear from heaven and forgive 
their sin and will heal their land. Uh, 2,000 years ago, in terms of land or owning uh, a farm or something like that, many of us don't have that experience. But healing of my land could be healing of my body, could be healing of my family, could be healing of my community, healing of my home, heal my land, heal my opportunities, enlarging my territory. That's what God said he would do, he would heal their land. That he would no longer hold anything against us. He says when he forgives us, he forgives us as far as the east is from the west. Forgiving that person who has sinned against you. Is that something that we're really able to do? Because if we cannot forgive, we should not expect forgiveness. He says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And I thank God for his forgiveness. And I'm seeking him daily. Lord, what would you have me to do on this side? of the grave, for it's in Jesus' name and for his sake, amen.